Hey, this is Melody from Melody's Makings, and I am currently working on designing a new free pattern, which is not a scarf, by the way, featuring the new Argyle color pooling craze that's been going across the webs. And I'm really excited about this free pattern, but as I've been playing around with it, I've been learning a lot of tips and cheats about color pooling. And most of these center around tension and keeping an even tension and making sure that your pooling lines up, even if you don't necessarily always have that even tension. So I'm just going to show you these couple quick tips. The first tip centers around making sure that your colors are always stacking up correctly. Basically, you're always shifting the colors over to the left by one. So in this, you can see that I've got red on top of red, and then I've shifted the, the red over by one here on this stitch. So basically, I'm always shifting over by one. So for this stitch here, I want it to be green. And then this stitch here will be my last green stitch. So you can see now I've got gray on my hook and I'm ready to start gray stitches because I've got one green on top of a gray. So that's the basic theory. Now sometimes you just can't simply make them line up. You just have too much of one color. So you might have a stitch that's going to end up being green over here even though at this point it needs to be gray because we're only shifting it by one stitch. So in order to cheat the system. This is a nice quick way to just take care of that tension issue, issue without having to go back. So go ahead and start your single crochet stitch like you normally would by pulling up a loop and then do a yarn over on your hook, insert through that same stitch again and pull up a loop, yarn over and then pull through all four stitches on your hook. Now this is going to use up that extra yarn and as you can see it creates a barely noticeable double V. So you're using up the extra extra tension or extra basically space on the color of the yarn since your tension got off and then you can keep on. You've corrected that problem. The next tip is for if your yarn isn't going to go far enough and essentially it's just about ripping it back and then tightening up those stitches. So instead of using extra yarn, you want to use less yarn so that your colors will go just that little bit farther. So essentially you just crochet those stitches really tightly right there. Just tighten them up until you've got your colors back on track and then you can kind of slowly ease up and loosen back into your normal tension. So as you can see, I've been doing this project for quite some time now. I've got many, many rows done and I've been making these adjustments, um, both doubling up when needed or going really tight when needed to make the yarn go farther and the project is turning out beautifully. So there's your cheat for the day on color working an Argyle project and make sure that you sign up for my newsletter because I've got this awesome free pattern which once again is not a scarf so I'm really excited about it coming out soon.